Hitler's Last Weapon, a science fiction parable for now. Chapter One, The Rebirth of Evil. days of the twilight of the demons when the Russians advanced on Berlin, the Fuhrer conceived his most ambitious plan to conquer his own death and rule from beyond space-time as the fourth prophet of the revelations of St. John. History is cyclic. There are only a few basic archetypal plot lines coded deep in the collective unconscious psyche of the vacuum state of the space-time continuum. The world is a theater. Most of the people in it are passive in the audience. The few actors on the stage of history receive their contracts from Satan. Repeat the perpetual stories in a passion play of a denumerable infinity of scenes. The Fuhrer had a clever black magician named Wolfgang von Zimmer. The plan was to transfer the Fuhrer's personality into the mind of a Jewish male child, then living in the city of Philadelphia, through the technique of quantum cloning. Quantum cloning used the principle of metempsychosis, the transmigration of intelligence from one material world to, to another within the space-time continuum of Einstein's theory of relativity. Von Zimmer, of course, told the Fuhrer that this theory was created by an Aryan that Einstein had kept enslaved in his closet. Von Zimmer brought tears to the Fuhrer's hypnotic eyes when he described how the evil Jew, Einstein, used to kick the Aryan under the table while throwing him the scraps of food that kept him barely alive enough to think. If the Fuhrer had known the truth, he would never have allowed Von Zimmer to use the Jewish physics. But von Zimmer was a charming diplomat and well-versed in the psychic art of Aikido, where superior force is sidestepped and turned against itself. The Fuhrer's plan was ironic and of unusual delicacy for him. He knew that the Jews were powerful wizards and were about to destroy him. However, von Zimmer had explained how the patterns of conscious awareness survive outside of the body because of a deep supersymmetry principle that conserves special uh, quantum numbers. Von Zimmer had received this information in a black magic trance in 1934. He had tuned into Einstein's mind by a remote viewing technique that he learned in a Sufi monastery in Afghanistan. Einstein at the time was working with the students Podolsky and Rosen at Princeton where they discovered the famous ERP effect. This effect shows the new quantum physics was a Pandora's box of occult magic that subverted the naive belief in a mechanical universe completely described by dead forces obeying strict laws of cause and effect. The ERP effect showed that reality is telepathic. By 1978, von Zimmer was denazified, claiming a Jewish ancestry, and was well established in the American academic world with the aid of secret units of the Fourth Reich, operating out of Chile. The Fourth Reich had penetrated multinational corporations and the intelligence organizations of the Western powers. It dominated South American politics and controlled a major part of the Arab oil wealth. Its objective, a coup d'etat of the United States government on July 4th, 1984. Conditions were right. The United States was like Weimar Germany. San Francisco was Berlin. The hippie movement and the anti-Vietnam War movement had their counterparts in Weimar in the 1920s. 
the United States had lost a war that left great divisiveness within the nation, just as in Germany, an American president had abdicated in disgrace, just like the Kaiser. Most people were hypnotized into a narcotic despair by the intrinsic brainwashing of compulsive television watching. The American family had disintegrated. Punk rock bands mutilated themselves on stage. One punk musician committed suicide in front of a cheering audience of thousands. The erotically aroused crowd dismembered the body and drank the blood in a ceremony reminiscent of ancient rituals. The American people suffered from the high cost of oil, just as the German people had suffered from the war reparations dictated to them in the Treaty of Versailles. Inflation and unemployment were irresistibly building tension in the American subconscious. The corporate greed for higher profits using mass media had destroyed the spirit of the West. Our bankrupt leaders declined into a perplexed passivity displaying weakness and cowardice. The Fourth Reich had secret agreements with the Chinese communists as well as with certain elements in the Soviet state. After all, the president had been set in 1939 between the Fuhrer and Stalin. The main technique in the new war against the United States was not military, but psychological. We had entered a new post-industrial phase of warfare. We were all participants in the galactic psi war that had been spreading faster than light across the star fields. Earth was caught in the wake of probability storms originating in the galactic center where the telepathic mule, dictator of the Union of Worlds, was battling the second foundation of psychic physicists. The second foundation had left a small unit of warriors in San Francisco's North Beach. The leader of this unit of the elite HIA, the Higher Intelligence Agency of the second foundation, was a certain Rabbi Safati, whose cover was that of the village idiot of Grant Avenue. HIA's headquarters was the Café Trieste, frequented by myriads of strange denizens of the embattled galaxy. Rumors were rife that new mutants from other galaxies and other realities from the future were also taking demonic possession of native biocomputers that were of woman born. In all cases, the mechanism for possession of a human by alien intelligence was that of quantum cloning through the extension of the ERP effect. Meanwhile, back in 1945, von Zimmer, acting under direct orders of the Führer, had activated a deep cover SS unit in Philadelphia where the recipient for the Fuhrer's consciousness was growing up. The reprogramming of this Jewish child's biocomputer began. The Fuhrer's mind was part of a non-local collective quantum wave function, as was the mind of the telepathic mule. This wave function is the pattern of all potential thought, feelings and behavior in the stream of consciousness, caused and guided by a non-local higher intelligence acting from more complex levels of the stratified reality in which dreams undergird hard facts. The meta-programmer intervenes. What might be is transubstantiated into what is, creating the illusion of historical time. For it is the basic insight of quantum physics that what, what is, is isn't all that I mean. This was the secret of the quantum cloning that the Fuhrer was about to initiate. The last act of the Fuhrer was an act of the ultimate evil. Von Zimmer had decided that it would be best not to possess the biocomputer of the Jewish child in 1945. Rather, he would metaprogram the jump to start in 1945 and end up in the early 1970s when the child would be grown and sufficiently experienced in the ideology and sales techniques 
of the sophisticated Fourth Reich. Von Zimmer will be there to act as midwife to the rebirth of the Führer. of the heavy Soviet artillery now only hundreds of meters away. The Fuhrer is now one of our Marian frenzy of erotic fanaticism for his final gesture of disobedience to God as the curtain comes down on his production of Gata Damwon. The mule, acting as a non-local hidden variable from the future, touches the emotional centers of the limbic regions of the Fuhrer's brain. The Fuhrer displays great bravery at the end under the spell of the mule's extraterrestrial quantum grip of conversion. The Fuhrer replaces the Luger in his mouth and prepares to receive the wafer of Lucifer, which will propel him beyond space and time with the projected method that he will ascend the throne of the psychopathic God. It is the moment of glory felt by the punk rock samurai who disembowels himself with the electric guitar, the totalitarian triumph of insanity. The countdown is over for the blast off into inner space. The mule in the far future snaps his spindly finger. The quantum message of feeling without a physical signal triggers a nerve impulse in the Fuhrer's motor cortex in 1945. The Fuhrer's finger squeezes the trigger of a gleaming black Luga. Fuhrer's release negentropic patterns of self-sustained awareness without object. Fragment into infinite patterns of Tibetan deities reflected without end in the many worlds of coexisting alternate realities. The Fuhrer is like Satan flying to Eden out of Hades after his defeat by the armies of the Lord. The Fuhrer is the demented altar whose maniacal laugh filters down the corridors of time in the zero-point vibrations of the chatter in the stream of everyone's collective unconsciousness. When Christ said that his father's house had many mansions, he meant that the intuition of man experiences on the level of quantum potential to the extent that we forget and become as mechanical automata, asleep to the higher occult realities, we cannot feel our schizoid split into the many cracked mirrors of the quantum magic theater. We see through the glass darkly, now fall from the Eden of Potentia into the irreversible flux of appearance and historical change. But Christ reminds us that the temple of God is the inner quantum order enfolded within the metrical outer layer that we quantify with clocks and measuring rods. The rise of quantum physics has allowed homo scientificus to enter once more into the hidden wisdom of alchemy. Jewish sacrifice sat in a white recreational vehicle that he purchased with a phony check in Fernwood, Ohio. He had to leave in a hurry when the salesman caught him in La Grande Indelicato with his wife Mary. Our boy, tired from his long journey in the night, 
looked at San Francisco Bay from the parking lot at Coit Tower on top of Telegraph Hill. The back of the van was loaded with unsold encyclopedias, organic detergents and cosmetics, and used porno magazines. Suddenly, in the glory of a multicolored sunset with a low-flying fog, swiftly covering the Golden Gate Bridge, the wave function of the Führer, like a malevolent eagle swooping down on its prey, collapsed onto the world troop that was the body of our Jewish land. by ordinary forces of brainwashing. Even though this mechanical interaction had ceased, the irrevocable effects were permanent. It only took the hidden variable of the mule, using von Zimmer as a tool, to collapse the correlated wave function of the Führer and the Jew. It was no mean task to make sure that the designated clone received the most demonic power of the Führer, undiminished. But the mule's relatively weak influence from the future was coherently amplified in a psi laser technique competently executed by von Zimmer, the meticulous midwife. Von Zimmer at that moment was in a remote viewing trance while sitting in a hot tub at a spiritual spa in central California. The Fourth Reich had infiltrated the human potential movement and was about to transfer part of its huge hidden corporate assets to the clone. The mission of the clone was to create a new fifth column under the subterfuge of a mass consciousness expansion training. In fact, the clone would create a powerful political machine ready to take over key government and business positions in the United States by July 4th, 1984. As a symbol of the enlightenment of the clone, now possessed by the essence of the Führer's spirit, the clone changed his Jewish name, proclaiming that he had given up Jewish weakness for German strength. The clone's new name was Ludwig von Braun. The Ludwig came from Mad King Ludwig of Bavaria, von Braun from the ex-Nazi rocket engineer, Werner von Braun, designer of the V-2 rocket that killed many in England in World War II. So began the blitzkrieg rise to power of the first psychic dictator of the United States, Ludwig von Braun, Chancellor of Megalomania. <laughs> 